Each of the storms covers an area larger than the United States. Researchers have to ponder the atmospheric dynamics on Mars. Last week, scientists were surprised to see a second dust storm on regional Mars that blossoms only two weeks after another on the same trajectory of the storm. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter NASA MRO showed the storms generated in the acidalia zone of North Mars, then moved to the Southern Hemisphere and expanded the largest sizes in the United States. Although the road is normal, the frequency of storms is unexpected. A mystery is what determines the magnitude of a dust storm. There are many local storms, some that become more regional, and then even less in the sufficient dust will be lofted into the atmosphere to become global. So far, scientists see that global dust storms tend to occur during spring and summer in the southern hemisphere, when Mars is closer to the Sun and the heating is at a maximum to generate winds. The orbit tends to change every 100,000 years. So in the old days, when the elliptical orbit of Mars exposed other parts of the planet for maximum heating, the generation of dust may have happened differently, but scientists do not know for sure. However, Zurich pointed out, only the smallest dust particles rise in the high atmosphere. Sometimes the larger bits of dust stretch along the surface and extract thinner materials that float upward. Global dust storms have happened a couple of times since NASA began observing Mars. A famous example was a 1971 dust storm that lasted as Mariner 9 orbited the planet. Scientists saw the peaks of volcanoes poking above the clouds, but not much more. The last global dust storm was in 2007.